Hey guys, welcome to another Gamers with Coffee. I'm Ashley, um, and I'm going to do a little bit of kind of unboxing of Flames of War Rifle Company. These are the Russians, and I have uh, this one as well. So, we're going to go through them and see kind of what's all in these. So, this says it's 152 plastic figurines. So, I got this from a commission painting I did. So, oof, that is a lot of bases. That is going to be a big group. So, it comes with the bases. Looks like a bunch of different cards. Oof. Maybe. It looks like there's a bunch of other things in there. So, there's a bunch of cards. This one's folded. Red banners. Oh, this is one of my, the platoon ones I can basically use. So that's kind of cool. I know my camera's up a little too far, but there's that. So, rifle. So I have a bunch of these guys. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of, ooh, these cards are kind of sticky. So I don't know where the guy got them unless he had them or whatnot, but... There's that one. These are motor companies. So, there's a headquarter one. That's a headquarters. But, I mean, there's quite a bit of cards in here. I mean, this is still closed as well, and there's a lot of cards in that. So, there's all the cards. Let's see if I can. I mean, if you look in there, there's a lot of figurines, it looks like. So, there's these guys. Let's see what's, if I can open the bag maybe I'm trying so there it goes so this has looks like three so these I don't know what is wrong with this guy his um, I'm assuming it's a rocket kind of goes up and over his head <laughs> it's probably been in the bag jam so I might be able to heat it up just a hair to kind of, yep, it just bounces back, so I probably have to heat it up just a hair to kind of stretch it and kind of hold it to let it cool, but I'm assuming that's what they are, so there's like 15 of these, or no, uh, so there'll be 12 on this one, 12 on this one, and 10 on this one, no, 10, 20, 32 pieces just right here on these guys. So, let me get the box a little bit out of the way. So, there's 32 of them here. So, it says BM-142. So, I don't know if BM-140, BM-140. So, I'm wondering if these guys aren't a group and this is a different group. Uh, Battlefront Managers. I mean, that's the only thing it says for these guys. Alright, move a little bad. Let's see if I can get the rest of these guys out of here. Maybe. They are in there good. They are really in there. Maybe if I can push them out the opposite direct side. Let's try that. Come on. I don't want to damage the box too much. There we go. Alrighty. So, there are a lot of figures. One, two, three... There's five placements on these. So, um, oh, this guy has no head. I'm assuming it probably is the other half of this one. Because if I flip it over, because he has half the body gone. And then there's like this little dot in the line that should go in the basically little dot in the line. So that's probably one guy there. Um, but I mean, there's the back. It looks like it's not going to be too bad. So this is some kind of commander with a microphone because he's dressed completely different than the rest of the soldiers. Because I got two of those guys right there, if you can see them. So I'm wondering if they're all like that because. So these guys must all go together because that guy looks like it's feeding it does so this piece will end up going in here so these 
this two guy, these two guys will go together next, probably on one of the bigger, I'm assuming, but I can figure it out. Um, so, yeah, because there's another, there's the two commanders right there as well. So, I mean, it looks like they're all like that. Yep, that's what those are. So they're all like that. So there's a hundred and what did I say? Fifty-two plastic figurines. So according to let me slide those out. According to this, let me move my camera up. According to this, there says there's 18 of I'm assuming this squad here. Two of the big guys. Two of this group. Two, ooh, flamethrower team, nice. Four commander and units, and then five of these. So, 29, 31, 33, 35. How's, um, I think I don't have enough people. Because this shows that there's nine plastic sprues one two three four i only got five of the big ones and three of the small ones so i'm missing guys well that kind of sucks uh 10 unit cards so i'm assuming that's what's in the big container who knows but i mean there are a lot of bases here so i counted what 35 i think i said Take those out. Let me move the camera back down real quick so you guys can see. So yeah, there are a lot of bases. There's a bunch of cords. There's a two, three. Okay, so there's four of the big bases. How many did I say for big bases? Okay, so it says four big bases. So that's those. You got a couple threes. You got a couple twos. And you got a whole bunch of fours. So I'm not going to even attempt to count those, but that's those. So let's get into the box of the tanks, which it says it contains eight plastic tanks and two plastic rocket launchers. So it should be told maybe two guys or. Unless it's those trucks up top, which are the rocket launchers. I have yet to open it to see. Um, I've been doing a lot of painting. Uh oh, I just dropped one. Um, give me one second. Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. Okay. So, those were all the guys. So, there's a lot of figurines I'm going to have to paint. These aren't the same. These are six millimeter guys. Um,. I still have a whole bunch from the other group I uh, Greg got me. So, three. Oh, let's see if I can zoom this out a little bit. So, sorry about the movement. So, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the two. So, there should be ten of them in here. So, let's find out. So, I have yet to open this box, like I said. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So... Well, let's set the actual plastic over here for a second because there's a lot of spurs in there. So this comes with, looks like decals, two sets of decals, a book. If I can get the book out without ruining it. Some more cards. Alright, so let's set that to the side here for a second. So, yep, I got the red banner. Card for the tanks, it looks like. So I have another one of these. Because I got one in the, <clears throat> sorry, in the figurines. And then I got yep, two sets of decals. What are, these ones have words it looks like. Oh. They are words I cannot, it's got some kind of like plastic sheeting over it. The other one's not like that, so we'll just keep that off. So we got the stars, got some kind of words probably Russian I can't even understand 
and then numbers. These ones are smaller. Same thing, numbers, words I don't understand, some kind of like little triangle seal. I'm assuming goes on something. The little stars, which would be probably the doors. So, yep, guarded rocket. <clears throat> T34, T70. There's two thirty-four. Okay, so there's two T seventy-four or how many did I say? So there's two seventies. That's a rocket. One, two, three. So I got two headquarter T thirty fours and two that aren't. So that's gonna be kind of cool. Meaning I can make and I have a whole bunch of thirty fours. So that's kind of cool. So we'll move this to the side real quick. Oops. So we already looked at that. The book, I believe we already have this. World War II miniature game. So it just looks like the mini version of um, on playing Flames of War, how it works. How, yeah, I believe we have this one. I mean, it's very pretty. Pages aren't ruined. Um, this one actually looks like it's got, what is that, a mouse? So this, I'm assuming a British or something, I'm assuming because of the side. Um, German, oh that's Afghani ones. Uh, so it's got some. Um, it explains on how to move them. Uh, train. Oh, it tells you basically... Uh, looks like if you can cross so that's kind of cool it actually breaks it down like uh, where to go cliffs cutting or high sea walls you can't dash you can't uh, cross um, height would be tall bulletproof cover yes so I mean it actually breaks it down <clears throat> pretty good so um, how, it looks like movement on scout, oh, scouting and things like that. So, that's kind of cool. I mean, there's actually pretty cool colorings in these. So, uh, coverage for your troops. Um, special rules basic missions so I mean there's I mean even an index is in here um, design notes so yeah that's basically what those would be so the 106 with the star and a Russian flag which I don't think I have that well that's kind of suck I don't have that one but it's okay but and then the words so that'd be kind of cool And then basically it tells you, oh, shooting, what, what is this? So these are just basically, if you need a quick, I'm assuming, guide. Um, staying in command, 41, 41, yeah, these are basically how you start it up, movements. Uh, shooting, shooting, artillery, uh, artillery, assaults. So that's kind of a cool little book. I mean, I know it was real close, and I'm sorry about that but let's see if we can move it up but I mean there's that I mean that's a decent little book too all right let's get the plastic pieces out now let me slide everything over so that way I don't lose it but the only problem is unless that book has them it does not come with directions so I will have to figure that one out by myself so, like I said, there are a lot of plastic tray or things. So, I might be taking these to work with me, like I did with some of the Space Marines. Oh no, there's pieces down there. Uh, so, here's your like commanders, little guys that go up in the top. There are pieces in this box. Let's see if I can knock them out without. Come on. I think I got them. Okay, that's all of them. So. Yeah, because I have a 
looks like two different barrels on this oh no that's not good <laughs> oh i just dropped one. Oh shoot well it's down in there somewhere and that one just fell come here all right so here's a tank uh here's a t70 yeah the bm129 t70 so that looks pretty simple for the most part um i will basically i won't be putting oh does this one not have it oh yes it does it's right here so this piece here would be basically glued here but i don't put them in i have actually little tiny magnets that one will go in here and then one would basically go right here and then that way i could just remove the tops i don't have to worry about it so there's a t70 uh that looks like a t70 how many t70s do i have t70 how many did i say i had three? Oh, shoot let go let go okay so well we found out where one of them went so that's a t70 yep this is a t70 so this barrel would end up being with this Okay, so there's those. Uh, that's one of my rocket guys. That's kind of cool. But I don't know how... This would be the back. So that would basically line up here. But you have two sets of rockets. Right there and there. Hmm. I will have to try to figure out... How these guys go in. Because these look like these would probably go on the side put this in and then these go against this i'm assuming i don't want to assume so there's two of those oh, there's the other piece um sorry there we actually have a lot of wind there's another t70 so there's two of these three four there's four of these ones don't know what these ones are actually two Unless they say uh, BM12, BMM. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what those ones are. And these must be the 34s. Um, what does this say? I believe these are the 34s. Um, yeah, these are the T34, so that's where this piece is. So that's not that bad. And then it does come with two different tops. Most likely what I'll end up doing, but same concept, I will take... Where is it? Oh, there it is. So you have two of them. I um, mean, I can go and put either tops on. So I'll probably make them both. Because there should be barrels in this one too. So one would probably be a locking hall, locked hall is probably what it'll end up being. Maybe not. Um, oh, you know what? These are part of this. Okay. Because this is your bottom. Here's your wheels. Your tracks. So, and then your barrels. So, I'll end up basically putting probably a longer one on one. And then the, one of the shorter ones. And then that way I can have two different ones. And there's four of those. So, those and these all go together with this guy. Then we have, so there's eight or four there, four here. This goes up in one of those. And then you have two here. So there is a total of 10 tanks there. And then you also got the little guys that sit up on top. They're only half a body. So, I mean, this guy looks like he's waving. So let's see. And you got like that's a commander because he's got a different hat. Um, then looks like some radio guys. Is that these the same? Yep, these are exact same as well. So I have twelve guys on there. So that's quite a bit in that box. So that's all of that. But I know a lot of people heard me. Not complaining, for say, but 
told Greg I was gonna buy one of the Russian hats. Well, it finally came in. So my hair is a mess right now, so I ain't gonna put it on, but I did get one. Came with the little container. Let's see if I can get it. Or a container, oh Lord. A little badge basically, but it's a metal piece. Um, let's see if I can maybe flip it around. You won't be able to see it too well, but there's little like metal, where'd it go? There it is. Like metal pieces, let's see if I can bend one up enough. There are metal pieces that like you stick in here and then you have to like bend them up, scissor them kind of. But yeah, I got my Russian hat. So that's always a fun thing. I'll go and maybe take some pictures of it, get my hair done, find some makeup tutorials on, you know, Russian women or something and go and do my makeup that way and then take a picture of it and I'll go up on the page or even the group. But other than that, remember to like and subscribe. Have a good day.